Hey ladies, so I'm going to hit two requests with one stone today. Um, someone asked for a smoky eye using only the Coastal Sense 88 palette, and then another person asked for um, a tutorial on the picture that's shown. So I'm going to go ahead and do both of those. I think I might have already done this one hippie look. I'm not quite sure, but um, I didn't have time to go back because someone has my kids right now and they're playing on the slip and slide and they're having so much fun. So I'm like, I'll hurry up and do a tutorial. But I know that I didn't do it with the 88 palette, so I'm going to start with that. I've already done my base, so let's get started with everything else. I'm going to use Urban Decay Primer Potion to make sure that these colors really stand out and stay on all day. Then I'm going to take the Coastal Sense 88 palette and all over my lid I'm going to be using oh dear did I lose it this one right here so the second over and the third one up I'm just going to be taking a flat shader brush to put that on and really just patting it into that Urban Decay Primer Potion. Remember, even for lid work, just use one pencil or one brush for placement and then the other brushes to blend everything in. Perfect. Now I'm going to take a 217 or you can use the E25 and um, it's warmed up a little bit in her crease. And so, depending on your coloring, choose one of these two colors, or maybe even this one over here. I am personally going to use this one right there. And this is just right in the crease. Notice that even though it's a really super dark color, it's warmed up by bronzy browns in the crease and on the lid. Now that turned out a little bit oranger, orangier, I guess you could say, than I wanted. So I'm going to go in with more of a brown color. I'm going to go to this one right here. Um, I really like the warmth that that orangey gave me. I just want to go over this a little bit to make it more brown. So I would still use that first color. And now with a clean E40 from Sigma, just kind of clean that up a little bit. Now in the outer V, go ahead and take the black that's in the furthest corner down. And I'm going to use that same Maxine mop that I was using. I'm going to put it right on the edge of my lid and then kind of go in my outer V but stay on the lid. So just kind of keep it flat and go back and forth. You will be tempted to try to buff this up a little bit more. Do not wait until we use our clean brush to blend. And blend away. Now for some fun, we're going to take a black eyeliner and use any one that you have. I'm using Smolder from MAC and we're going to go across our eye here and you can be extremely messy with it. Feel free, I'm going to move you closer here. Feel free to be messy with it since we'll be using a brush to make it pretty. But just get it into the lash line. Now I tend with a pencil not to go too far inward because it warms up to your skin and your eye and then by the end of the day it's kind of all over the place. So I wait to do the inner corner until I use my fluid line which is waterproof. Now I'm going to take pencil brush, any pencil brush that you have. This one's from Nicole Miller.
And I'm just going to go back and forth on that line. Smudging it upward ever so slightly until the black goes further up and almost makes it appear as if you have black on your lid, but you really don't. We have a different color. I am also going to do underneath my waterline. Someone else asked about this as well. You just take your pencil, you go like that, and just go back and forth on your waterline. And the more you dig it into your lashes, the more that's going to stay there. And if you want extra staying power, just take a brush, dip it into some black, and get some black shadow, and just pat it up there. And then that will be good too. All right, she has her lower water line done as well. So we will do that really quickly. Again, I reserve that inner corner for something more waterproof. Also make sure you get that into the lashes. And then just go back and forth on the lashes to make it come down just a little bit. And we'll use that same pencil brush. And I just go back and forth on the lashes. Now this is where the black eyeshadow would come in perfectly from the Coastal Scents palette. You just take your brush that you've been using and just pat it in there for extra staying power plus a little bit on all the stuff we've been doing down below. Perfect, perfect. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the orangey no, I'm going to take our lid color and I'm going to put that a little bit underneath here. I'm going to use a new brush for that, just another flat shader. Take some of that product and go underneath, just right on top so it shows through just a little bit since it's a lighter color than the black. Softens it and warms it up. Now I am going to be using something like I said from MAC, the Fluid Line. Because it's waterproof and right near my tear ducts is where I want to put this. Because her line is completed all the way around. So I want to make sure I do that as well. Nicely done, nicely done. I am going to blend a little bit more. And also, it really does depend on your coloring, which one of these brow bone colors that you would use. Um, some of these might come across as really, really white on you, and some might be a little bit, well, not as white. Um, I like to use a mixture of these two sometimes. For this one, I'm going to want more of a natural, so I'm going to be doing this one, which is the third up in the first row. And I'm going to be emphasizing that right more at the arch than anywhere else. Now hers comes out a little bit more so I'm going to take what am I going to take? Probably those same colors, probably the same lid color with the 217. Maybe just like doing some placement of how I want that line to be because it's coming out on her a little bit. I wanted to dramatize that a little bit more. So I took the dark brown that's right here and I just swept it in kind of a, a triangular shape out here and then I'll just use my blending brush again. All right I want to chisel out my face a little bit and hers is a very warm look so I'm going to be using my baked bronzer my 129 from MAC then a very soft cheek so we'll get our 
amazing contour blush palette. And I'm going to use the top color this time, right there. And very, very lightly, I don't want a ton. And just right above that brown bronzer, excuse me, instead of on the apples and sticking there, I'm going to just go above the bronzer and blend it in. This is a great nude gloss. And I always forget the name of it. It's in Bare. It's a great Bare gloss. And there you have your face, basically. I am going to grab my false lashes that I always wear, and I'll be right back. Okay, so there are our Demi Wispies. I did a little bit of our brow bone color in the corner right there, just to lighten it up a little bit. And then I'm all about bows and floofy things, and so I figured I'd do my own version of her hair and how it kind of is. So there you have it, there's the look. Hope you guys liked it, and yeah, the 88 Coastal Scents palette is extremely, extremely versatile and you can use it for so many different things, which of course is what is meant when I said versatile. But don't be afraid of color. We should do a lot more in here. We can do greens, we can do blues, purples, pinks, oranges, so many different things. I've had a recent request from someone, uh, Sierra, who gave me a picture of, oh my word, I'm blanking, Scarlett Johansson, who, Hi, who wouldn't want to look like her? Okay, maybe there are a few of you, but I would love to look like her. I think she's gorgeous. So anyway, we'll be doing that one soon, utilizing some of those amazing oranges, as well as the orange that comes from MAC, which is a super, super vibrant one. But yeah, let me know what else I can do for you. And again, hope you're having a great summer. We'll talk to you later. Bye.